Hello and welcome to the Craft Man Show. My name is your host, the Craft Man. We trying to do a big toy release tomorrow. I said, you know, now might be a good time to show some of the process when it comes time to release the toys. Look at this. So there right though, and let me show you how this the how how did this to the box is. So, so you looking at about 200 uh, male snails packed up, ready to go. And let's take us a little closer detail, uh, detail view of one of these. So this is the male snail, and we releasing this as a DIY figure, and very much similar to the free range chicken in the sense that. It's, uh, we cast it out of a hard plastic resin and it is a surface that uh, should be easy to paint and uh, that's some of the details right there oh, excuse me the header card we had them custom printed I designed a little uh, thing in uh, Photoshop and you know they came up with little logos and things and tried to use a little mail theme on there and sent it out to a print company Get some fancy stable though. And so that's what that looks like. And we did a release of the um, Patreon. We initially were going to release 100 male snails to Patreon and said, you know, hopefully that would be enough. And right at the last minute, we decided to go ahead and release 200 since we had, we had our uh, 200 uh, made up already. So we said release 200 to Patreon supporter early. And that was uh, December, and they sold out. And so we have been working on trying to build up a new uh, stock of these. So we're going to be releasing a little more than 200 on tomorrow. So it has been some busy times instead of crafting studio with that right now. I'm very excited about this, more so than I have been for any of our figures because this one was sculpted by Craig's son. And that's my youngest son made this. I mentioned that before, but he had to actually, he's a better sculptor than me, a way better sculptor than me. And he had to dial it back to kind of try to dial into that, uh, that kind of whimsical, kind of, you know, playful instead of crafting style, you know, where a character, character kind of look like they don't really know what's going on, kind of a, a appearance, you know. I don't know how to describe it, but instead of crafting style, it looked like it would belong to you know, be a cousin to the free range chicken, something like that. And he came up with that mass now. I'm so proud of him for that. And every single one of them is, uh, we do them one at a time. They go on a shaker table. To try to get out all the bubbles possibly that we can. All right, then once they cure, the bottoms of them all sandy, sandy, uh, flat, smooth. And it goes through three different grits to get it to a good smooth little bottom. Uh, we did two releases of the free range chicken, you know, and that was it. Uh, it was limited, you know. And so what we're going to do with this is as long as y'all interested, then we hope to just to keep making these, you know. So after tomorrow's release, you know, if those actually wind up, you know, selling, in other words, if these right here wind up selling, then we just, you know, we will make some more so that, you know, if people are still interested, uh, because the process on these is a lot more uh, streamlined. We don't have to do, uh, you know, this figure has some, you know, some separate pieces with it. And that little silicone tube, I extruded all them out by hand, you know. It's a lot easier with the mail snail. Got these little things right there. I call that the junk button. And so what that is, and that's from a little piece that I sculpted and used different little found pieces and objects. And uh, and so that's actually plastic. I just used me some silver powder and dusted my mold with it. Stuck a magnet in the back of it. See that right there? I also had some stickers made. But hold up, I'm getting side distracted. Let me show you. Uh, anyway, that's what the, some of the buttons look like. I got some more and then we got some more cooking. Just all kinds of different little ones and different little powder. Yeah, so little things like that, you know. Just little fun stuff, you know. Extra little things. 
and this is just my little extra stuff so i might just grab something from that and throw it in a little package you know so uh especially always for the first 10 people i'm going to get well for the first 10 people i'm probably going to give something you know like that i thought or maybe one of these you know something something kind of crazy but uh what i was going to say i probably need to hang on to my jerry rig right there some of these things you know i might just throw in there and that might be the only one i have of it you know so that's some of the uh, extras uh so every single order as long as we got these we uh, if you order something from Steadicraft, then we just going to be throwing this up in there. But that's just the individual little Tony's original Creole Z's. Now, right there. It's a great on everything. And that's really is no exaggeration. But, uh, you know. But, all right, so that's what it was. Uh, my friend Plastic Geek, I have mentioned him several times on the program. That's my buddy code name, j Time. That's what I call him. And I said, Plastic Geek, if you don't mind me asking you, to, uh, where, who does your stickers? Because I really like the, uh, the toughness of them. I like the quality. And he told me. And so we had some of these made. And uh, them sold out. Uh, excuse me, those sold out. And then so for the mail snare release, we had these right there uh, made. And I really like the uh, quality of these, the feel of them. My friend David Gonzalez, uh, shout out to him, no power, on um, Instagram, designed that for me. And then we just had a, a print company, you know, make it do the die cut. Very happy with that one. Oh, the packaging. The packaging is, uh, let's see. Probably should have had my wife do this. This is a... Uh, There we go. So instead of sending them out on the first release, we sent them out in an envelope. And so we're going to send these out in some little, uh, some little hefty little box like that right there. Hello. I am very excited about this. And the first release was just, just wonderful. The uh, feedback, the response on it was so good. I'm so glad that people like the mess now. Um, especially because, you know, that's something my sc I'm sorry that my glove does that sometimes. Anyway, so excited about the mess now. My son is very excited about that. The whole craft family is excited about the mess now. And looking forward to seeing how y'all customize these. Really, really looking forward to seeing how that y'all customize these. That's the other thing. That's the other thing. Hold up. I forgot about something. That is the one that I painted, and I painted that a couple of weeks back, and just, you know, had never uh, sprayed the coat on it, but I went and did that. So, uh, I thought about just putting it on my shelf, and I said, you know, I might just put that up for sale on Etsy tomorrow, too, when we do the release. But uh, anyway, I had fun painting this. It was very pleasing uh, to paint the mess now, and I hope that y'all have fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing much more significantly better results than what Craftsman can do. Exciting. We got the Tonys. Oh. Okay, that's going to be used in my next episode. That's a, a secretive. Let's see. Mm -hmm. But that right there. Do y'all want to know what that is? Anyway, just some cornstarch and some conditioner. And just made me a little stress relief putty. Not that I'm under stress. I'm Craftsman ain't stressed out. Craftsman is a bliss. You know, like my mama said, I'm too stressed to be blessed. Excuse me, other way, other way, what I said. What's that? Also, also, before I forget, we also got a 3D scan done of the med snap, and that's my brother Benjamin up there in uh, art lab 3d so that's going to be available after the physical release i just want to say thank you to every each and one of y'all that's watching this uh viewers uh the people who comment who encourage you know say things who uh who uplift you know and, and just positivity and to our, our direct supporters over on patreon thank you um, that's how come we keep doing weekly videos, you know, that's what's, uh, 
that's what's keeping it happening. What's that? Probably going to put that in somebody. Uh, I like to see any little skeletons. I, I don't know why. Uh, I just like it. Uh, one of my favorite cartoons is The Black Cauldron. Not too many people talk about that one. But uh, this reminded me of something from it. So I got hold to me some of these. And I said, let me let me put that on somebody's package tomorrow. You know. I hope y'all enjoyed this update. A behind the scenes of, uh, you know, at home toy manufacturing. I hope this has inspired you. With some things in life you just don't know till you go on ahead and try it. And uh, got to start somewhere. Anybody out there watching this saying, you know, I want to make my own toy, my own action figures, I encourage you to do it. Just to go on ahead and do it. Thank y'all so much for keep on hanging with me, watching these videos. Do y'all know that I love y'all? And do y'all know that also I want you to wet? I don't know what that was. What was that? I get you when I'm trying to listen. What'd you say? I love y'all and keep steady crafting. All right. Probably use that for the thumbnail picture right there. What do y'all think? Let's see. I always have trouble trying to figure out the thumbnail. What's going to be the best thumbnail? I never really know what to do. I'm going to say there right now. It's got some little glare reflections on it, but you know, maybe that's a be a compelling picture. You know, somebody will say, "Look at that. That's interesting. Let me see what this uh, movie is about right now." 